In our last video, we talked about how when the explosion takes place above the piston, that some of the fumes can blow by the rings. And when they do that, they enter the crankcase. Now, what happens then? Well, as you can see from this oil pan, the crankcase is an enormous area where all kinds of fumes can collect. If we take a look at a cylinder head, which I have here beside us, you can see that the cylinder head has basins that act as storm drains, if you will. As the oil collects and falls off the rocker assembly, the oil pools here and falls, free fall, all the way down to the pan. What that means, in essence, is that we have open spaces between the top of the engine and the bottom of the engine. The fumes can travel around inside the engine like bats in a cave and go through every corner. What that means in simple terms is this. When blow-by gets into the crankcase, it gets everywhere. Now, two things are going to happen. First, you can imagine the blow-by collecting, collecting, collecting in here, and as it does, pressure will accumulate. When the pressure starts to accumulate, it's going to push the oil out of every gasket and seal in this engine because the entire engine is pressurized internally. The second thing that can happen is that these blow-by fumes will poison the motor oil. They'll turn the oil black, they'll rob it of its ability to lubricate, they'll rob it of its ability to protect our engine. That in turn, of course, harms our engine. What we need is a way to stop the pressure from building inside the oil pan, and what we also need is a way to reduce the contamination of our motor oil. In our next video, we'll talk about that.